Just begin to worship, just begin to worship and love him. Just begin to worship and love him. Just begin to worship and love him, worship and love him, worship and love him. We love you, Adonai, the uncreated creator, lion of the king, 
of the tribe of Judah, we worship you, we worship you, we worship you, Adonai, we worship you, we worship you. There is no beginning without you and there is no ending without you, oh God. We worship you, we worship you, we worship you. Murimuchene, Murimuchene, Makatende Kajeso, Makatende Kamaskatano, Piwa Imbirine Kurumbitwa, Piwa Imbirine Kurumbitwa, you deserve all the glory, you deserve all the honor. We worship you, Adonai, we lift you high. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen, amen, amen. Good afternoon, ladies. Good afternoon. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. I think it's about three days. This is a live stream. It's about three days. This is a live stream. Um, I love you so much. I love you so much. I just have um, a word of encouragement for somebody tonight. I just have a word of encouragement for somebody um, this afternoon. Um uh the pa message yangu taitu ye kuti change your garment. The pa message yangu msoro ye kuti change your garment. I'm here to talk to people um who are finding it difficult to move on in life. Um maybe you faced uh, some disappointments, um maybe it was a divorce. Maybe you, you broke up with your boys. Maybe you were fired from your workplace. Maybe you lost a loved one and you are finding it difficult to move on. You are finding it difficult to let go. You are finding it difficult to come out of, of um, your past. You are, you are finding it difficult to move from your past. You are finding it difficult to let go of whatever happened in the past some of the people that i'm talking to here maybe you were sexually abused as a young child and even up to now you are a married woman but you have been finding it difficult to let go of that pain to let go of those memories and uh, you are even failing to enjoy intimacy with your husband because back there you were abused back there you experienced some pain back you 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 just um see every man is a perpetrator you see is every man is a predator uh, i'm here to give you a word of encouragement i'm here to talk to you like right now i'm here to talk to you right now so my message is coming from second samuel my message is coming from second samuel chapter 12 verse 20 from this uh, let's start from verse 19 from verse 19 when david when david saw that his servants were whispering david perceived that the child was dead therefore david said to his servants is the child dead and they said he is dead so david arose from the ground washed and anointed himself and changed his clothes and he went into the house of the lord and worshipped and he went into the house of the Lord and worshipped. Then he went to his own house. And when he requested, they set food before him and he ate. When David perceived that his servants were whispering to each other, he perceived that the child was dead. And he asked them, is the child dead? And they said, he is dead. So David arose from the ground after hearing that the child was dead. All this time, David was praying and fasting for the child, thinking maybe, uh, God will remember him and heal the child, thinking maybe the child will come out of the sickness and live. But when he heard that the child was dead, when he heard that the child was dead, uh, David Aka Breaker fasting Yaita. David Aka Breaker fasting Yaita. Nonzi Aka Pinda Muchech and he worshipped. As you akapinda mchechi akachema. As you akapinda mchechi aka, aka, and he wept. As you akapinda mchechi akawunguza. The Bible is saying David went to the temple and he worshipped. After hearing that the child was dead, David anonopinda mtembere and he worshipped. He just began to love the Lord. He just began to worship the Lord. 
I want to talk to somebody. From today, from today, when you receive any bad news, when you receive any news that is supposed to cause you pain, when you receive any news that is supposed to cause you to weep and mourn, just don't, just don't. Look the devil in the face, get into the temple, get into the worship mood. Tanga You know, it, 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 it will confuse the devil. What kind of a person is this? She has just received bad news, but she's 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 worshiping, she's loving the Lord for what? She put David and Wakuti Mana Afa. Anakuunguza anakuchema. But aka simuka. Dokuva ageza. Ageza. Aka chinja yembe zanga akapfeka. I want to tell you. Yembe zanga zakapfekwa na David at this particular time. Zanga ziri hembe ze kusua. Kusua because mana wake anga achirwara. Yembe zanga akapfeka. Zanga ziri ze kusanya. Nekuna mata kuti pada marivanga ntinzwa. Vaka poresa mana wangu. Pada marivanga. Wanga ntinz wa mwana wangu akararama. Yembe zanga zaka pfekwa na David panguwa ii. Zanga ziri, zanga ziri yembe zeku shunguru zika. Yembe zeku tampu zika mkatime moyo wake. But achingwa nzwa chete kutimwana wanga akasuwira mwana wanga achitanyira afa. David ana kutora nguwa. Jiriku nzi akasimuka, akageza, akachinja. Yembe zanga akapfeka. Problem ya tina yoma zwa anu. Ndiye kutikune vanu. Vanoti vachinzwa meseji. Vachinzwa meseji. Ino, ino fanruwa kunge ichiva chemeza. Vachinzwa meseji. Ino fanruwa kunge ichiva tamwisa. They dance according to the tune of the devil. They do exactly what the devil expects them to do. Akawona meseji mfoni ya murume wake. Message ya kuti devil himself Aruko expect out wakaona message Vacha tsama wa gorovera phone ya murume kuma zero Vago zipa murume Vago mbata nekola Vago murova Tukucha gava kazi we kuti Ato yuona message Ano, 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 ano shikoti Dedi phone ya nyi Asina kutsama, asina kumudura Ago vaisira chikafu Vago jika, ago vaisira mvre kugeza Vago geza, vago enda kuno rara Ari muoship mudu Achito receive a message Anenda kuno is a worship song pa radio otanga ku otanga ku worship otanga ku rumbiza mari this is what exactly david did vanga vakatarisa vachifunga kuti paachanzwa kuti mwana afa achachema paachanzwa kuti mwana wakatsanyira afa achazvirovera pasi paachanzwa kuti mwana wanga achichemera afa achashungurudzika david didn't do that david ana mbodaro zvinonzi akasimuka achibva ageza Akasimuka achibva ageza As I'm ministering right now I'm ministering to women Vandru kudauti vasimuke From the dance Akasimuka kuvamu gurura Akasimuka from the dust Achibva enda kuno geza Pane vakazi who are watching me right now There are people who are watching me right now You have been mourning in the dust for a long time Maybe you are mourning for a relationship That you broke up from Maybe you are mourning from a marriage That didn't work out Maybe Maybe you were mourning for a child who is sick. Maybe you were mourning for a job that you were fired from. But today I am here to tell you, Kuti, you have mourned enough. This is the time for you to rise from that dust of mourning and bath. Inkuva yeku simuka wo jigeza. Inkuva yeku simuka wo tanga ku jigeza. I know a lot of people when they are in depression, a lot of people when they break up from a relationship, a lot of people when they get divorced, they lose themselves. Uh, they, they can't even take care of themselves. They can't even groom themselves like they used to do. Ano jineglek tamukadzi. Ago tanga kusa geza. Ago tanga kusa kama msoro. Ago tanga kutadza kana kuklina mumpama ano gara. Ago tanga kubuda kunzoko. Akaicha kunke muna abuda mumwe na kana uti muna putiki wane bompa ari mumpa kabuda achitiza. But ari mukadzi. Why? Because she's in the dust and she's mourning for a marriage that didn't work out for a relationship that didn't work out. I'm talking to girls very just from a, a relationship where you broke up and you are still in pain and you are crying and because of that the whole day
day you will be in bed. Auchato gwana kumu kauchi no gesa. Auchato gwana kumu kauchi kwesha mazino. Auchato gwana kumu kauchi kwe uchi kama msoro wako. Because you are mourning. Because you are in the dust. But the Bible is saying, David achinz kwa kuti mwana afa. David achinz kwa kuti mwana afa. Mwana wanka akatsanyira. Mwana wanka kuna matosh. Nora zote munu wa aida. Mwana wa aida. Mwana wanka asinga tarisiri. Asinga fungizire kuti anka afa. Akamusia. But she is gone. But but the, the, the baby was gone. The baby was gone. Achinz kwa kuti mwana afa. Defita ana kurampa achichema. Defita ana kurampa akatsanya. Defita ana kurampa a, a, asina a, 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 ane china asina kujigeza. Defita ana kurampa akafeka yembe ze kuchema. Ana kurampa akafeka yembe zine china. Jirkunzi achitonz kwa kuti ndoja itika. Akasimu kakuvamu dasi ndo vaenda kuno geza. Ageza akachinja yembe zanga akafeka. I don't know if I'm ministering to somebody. I don't know if I'm ministering to somebody. And this is kind of pane moon and rukutaura nai. Whatever happened, whatever happened, there comes a time in life when you have to rise from the dust, you have to bath, and you have to put on new garments. You have to change that garment. You have to change that garment. There is no point in you trying to hold on to, to being called Mrs. Whoever when it didn't work out. There is no point for you trying to hold on to a Boaz who just broke your heart. There is no point for you in doing that. It's time for you. Yekutu usimuke. Ugeze uji shambize. Ugeze uji gazirem soro. Ugeze uji fekere embe zakanaka. And put on the garment of worship. And put on the garment of praise. Let me say this, the God, the God on the mountain is still God even when you are in the valley. So there is no point for you in stopping to worship him. There is no point for you in stopping to praise him even when you are in the valley. Even when you are in the valley, you still have to worship. Even when you are in the valley, you still have to praise him. Ndo saka mchinzi wa David Ia yu David wa truku wa renganezo hake Anoti The Lord is my shepherd I shall not want Yeah, even if I walk through the valley of the shadow of death Even in Kafamba Mu valley of the shadow of death Jinarot David Aito mao murume aiziva Kutipane mazuma eku famba In the valley of the shadow of death But when I am there It doesn't mean it's permanent When I am there It doesn't mean I'm going to spend the rest of my life In that valley Dwasakachiti even though I walk through I want my cards in a scanner, but just ziva kuti muvali mavari. I'm 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 it's not their permanent dwelling place. Muvali mawaka kanti wa vali ekurambwa ne mukomana. Muvali mawaka kanti wa vali ekufirwa ne murume. Muvali yawaka kanti wa vali ekurambwa ne murume. It's not your permanent dwelling place. You should understand and know that I am here, but I'm walking through. I'm not here to stay. I am not in this valley to stay in this valley. You are not in this valley to remain broken hearted. You are not in this valley to keep on mourning and weeping. You are not in that valley to stay there. But you should walk through. Problem ya taita ndi ekuti kune vanu. Vanoti makakandi wamu valley. To them it's the end of the world. Makakandi wamu valley kwa bari shafarana. But I want you to understand that Muvali amusime kugara. Muvali ndema kuita walk through. Warambwa wakarambwa. Maybe ne mkwama anaka na ne murume. That valley is not your permanent dwelling place. You should walk through it. Don't remain stagnant. Don't remain seated in that valley. Walk through. Walk through. Yes, I know. There is a period when you feel like you, 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 you have to heal from the pain. I know there is a time when you feel like you, 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 need, you need some space, you need some time to heal. But don't stay in the valley permanently. Walk through the valley. Walk through the valley. 
vakampo kantwa mu 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 makomba vakampo kantwa mu vali as muno ano buda muku muno ano buda muku rambwa ne murume ku rambwa kunonyadzisa kwekuti the whole community knows about it ago buda mu vali momo achino rorwa kwete ne munhu ane vana vake but achino rorwa ne jaya achienda ne muchato ende muchato unotyisa but problem dey kuti vakakandwa mu makomba vakakandwa mu mavali they think it's their permanent dwelling place ndo pa unoona kuti munhu akarorwa akarambwa ne murume ano zvirasa kungo zvikanda they, they 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 end up throwing themselves at any jack and jew who comes their way ano pedzira azvikanda mumuromo mababa tembi agobva gono zvikanda mune kamkorokoza kari kunwa majombo why because ari kufunga kuti manda kakandwa umu it's a permanent dwelling place and icharoreka and icharoneka nevanhu vashinu azvichabvira kuti ndichate because ndarambwa ndi ine mwana but that's not the the case that's not the point ndikuda vakadzi vari kuti even takarambwa ndichazvichengetedza ndicharorwa ndichachata ndikuda vakadzi vari kuti even takafirwa nemurume andis kuzongo zvirasa andis kuzongo rasa body yangu kuti vanoda vaite zvavanoda nayo i am going to take care of myself i am rising from the dust i am bathing and i am changing my garment change that garment garment rekurambwa iri ribvise garment rekusema iri ribvise garment rekudzingwa basa ribvise why are you holding on to that garment why are you still wearing that garment wese wa wasangana naye unotanga kumudza norondo ye garment rekurambwa kwa wakaitwa Wese wa wasangana naye unotanga kumudza norondo ye garment reku disappoint kwa wakaitwa take off that garment kufapa wakanyora pauma kuti ndakarambwa kufapa wakanyora pauma kuti i have been disappointed that's not the case rise up from that dust simuka kubva muguru vageza poda pfeka zvakanaka ubude kunze uku pasina ari kuona kuti amai vakarambwa pasina ari kuona kuti enji uh, akarambwa nemkomana she has been broken hearted why should everybody know that you are disappointed why should everybody know that you are heartbroken kubuda mumba bvudzira kadai kunge nkuntu yenanga acha you can't even take care of yourself acha na basa kuti pandiri kubuda nchienda ku town how do i look like am i looking presentable bvudzira ngo riri right here bvutsi anda feka nehembe zviri kuendera naere kungo buda akungwa buda because she doesn't care nekuti dakarambwa does it does it mean anything take off that garment take off that garment kune man who are still putting on the garment yekuti murume akanti shungurudza murume akazondi rampa akanti siya and because of that they, they they have made a vow kuti vane vavo vacha shungurudza vane dzavo odzimba dzavacha putsa vane vakadzi vacha chema one kuda kwavo and they are going around achingo zvipa kune wese afunga kuti ari kuda Wese angofunga kuti ari kuda kupinda pakati pemakumbo anongopinda zvake because ndakarwa dziswa kaini ndakarambwa kaini zvine basa rendo zvichengetere ndo zvichengeterani take off that garment take off that garment take off that garment and go into the temple and begin to worship take off that garment and get into the temple and begin to pray take off that garment get into the temple and begin to praise but that doesn't stop me from singing praises that doesn't stop me from worshiping the lord because he is the god the, the god in the on the mountain is still the the same god even when i'm in the valley david 
Mwana wi wanga waka muta ee, eh, I know. Chino nye nisa kuru waza vama venye ndeche kuti. Vedue, mana matiriru anta ita merieji. Mana matiriru anta ita murume uyo. Mama mama na matiru anta ita kutitishante pa mwechete. Kuti azo shika even pari papo. Pe kuti haku wane kwa nevamwe wakazi. Mina mato yangu, mita nyo yangu evangelist. Why should I just let go like that? It's painful man evangelist. But I'm here to tell you. Mwana anka afa uyo. Mwana anka katota. David anka haripa mtanyo. Time hiri kufa mwana David anka atori pa fasting. Ya kusanyira mwana kuta ararame. Ya kusanyira mwana kuta apore. But jaka daro mwana akafa. Ajina basa kuti mama mama ngamuri pamtsana ajina basa kuti makanama ta kuti mushike pa level ya manga mama but when it's over it's over let it go get into the temple begin to worship get into the temple begin to praise take off that garment walk through that valley don't stay in the valley don't dwell in the valley for how long are you going to mourn for Saul? Samuel. For how long are you going to mourn for Saul? Seeing that he has been rejected. Say Urkurampa Uchichemera, Muruma Kakurampa, Kakunya Zisa even neko amadzako. Yes, you know the truth that a panacha wanka wakanga nisa. You know the truth kuti jese jaka no taure even kwa amadzako. Janga jisiri jecho kwadi. But for how long are you going to mourn over that? For how long are you going to keep on uh, uh, keeping those things in your mind and in your heart? For how long? Take it off and move on. Walk through the valley. Don't stay in the valley. Come out of the pit. Don't stay in the pit. So David arose from the ground, washed and anointed himself. He washed and anointed himself. Kurambra nemu koma na jirekuta uchafan rekupoda. Kurambwa nemu koma na jireota uchafan ruku drawa ma broza ako. Kurambwa nemu koma na jireota uchafan ruku zora lipstick yako baby. That is the proper time for you ya kunyato kugeza. Ya kunyato kupoda ya kunyato jishongeza. Because you are still single and you are still searching. Why are you neglecting yourself? Why are you looking that scruffy because you, you have been dumped by a boas? Kurambwa nemu ruma ajire wakuta andicha geze. Kurambwa nemu ruma ajire wakuta andicha peke yembe zakanaka. Wash yourself and anoint yourself. Wash yourself and anoint yourself. He washed and anointed himself and changed his clothes. And changed his cloth. Say, Mara and Pamaka Feka, he emped the chiri cards. Eh, Makafirwa, but he didn't have a Murkur and Pamaka Feka, he emped the chiri cards. Say, Mara and Pamaka Feka, he emped the Kurambra, Nemurume, eh, Makarambra, but he didn't have a Murkur and Pamaka. Why are you not changing those garments? Why are you not changing those garments? Ten years, sixteen years. Mucha kangwa feka yembe ze black. Ze guti makafiru wa nemurume. And looking at you, you are so young. Change that garment. Change that garment. Change that garment.
you 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 still look so miserable after uh, a year ya kurambwa ne mukomana mukomana hatisi kutaura murume after a year ya kurambwa ne mukomana you still look so miserable you are still heartbroken you you still can't move on abonyanyo koshei what if is the lord who rejected him kutotadza kuita move on Confuse the devil. Because the devil arku ziva kutu warambwa ne mkomana. And arku to expect her. Kutu jarambwa ne mkomana. She's going. Achanga aripa kuchema. Achanga aripa kushunguru zika. And maybe acha vatanga kudana na kana never rumewe vanu. Because she's disappointed. Because she's heartbroken. Achichaga comfort. But confuse him. Confound the devil. Vachimuza kuti eye mwana afa. The servants expected him to begin to weep. Tukutanga kushirove rapasi kuti mwana wandanga ndaka tanyira afa. But David didn't do that. David didn't do that. Aka vato simu ka ndo vapi nda mbath. Ndo vageza. Ndo vaji anointa. Ndo vaji nja even hembe za anka aka feka. And he went to the temple. Chanya isa kunti fadza ndeche kuti David ana kungo pfeka Ana kungo geza kaji Ana intaka chincha yembe But he went to the temple He knew that my place of refuge The only place I can find solace and comfort Is in the temple with the Lord Akati let me go And commune on a deeper level with the Lord Dosa kamuchuana when he gets into the temple Ana kutanga The Bible doesn't say he began to pray Ana kutanga kuna matachi plija Kuna mwari kuti mwari Mazo jifabi sa sayi sayi mwari wana wangu azofa You can change this situation oh God He didn't do that Because he wanted solace Because he wanted comfort He knew that the only thing that could bring God closer to him the only thing that could make him commune on a deeper level with God was worship so he began to worship he began to worship he went into the house of the Lord and worshipped He didn't go into the temple to cry. He didn't go into the temple to plead with God. To please uh, resurrect my son. Please. Uh, what He didn't do that. He went into the temple to worship. He began to love God. He began to adore God. The reason why you made uh, wrong, you made mistakes, you made wrong choices after breaking up is because you, you, you didn't commune with the Lord on a deeper level. You didn't love him. You didn't worship him. That same love that you could have been giving to, to, to your boyfriend, that same love that you, can, you could have been giving to your husband, go and give it to God. Go and pour it to the Lord. Lord, I love you. Lord, I adore you. I worship you. You are my everything, God. That is what David did. When you begin to worship, when you begin to worship, his presence fills you. His presence fills wherever you will be. So as David was worshiping, his presence embraced him his presence embraced him so much that he, he didn't feel any pain he couldn't feel the pain anymore it was soothing he found solace in the lord he found comfort in the lord worshiping him so 
my dear sister, change that garment. Change that garment and begin to worship him. Change that garment and begin to love him. Change that garment and begin to love him. And as you love him, he will love you back. And in loving you back, he will give you something that is going to give you peace and rest for the rest of your life. He will give you a testimony that will add no sorrow to it. He will give you a Boaz who is going to treat you like a queen. He will give you a husband who is going to appreciate and love you for a lifetime. Problem Pamakarambra Magendam Ganotanga Kuchemera Mari Kutimari Restore Mari Resurrect my relationship with my boas. But there are some relationships that are not worth it. There are some relationships that are not worth it, and that's why God um, decided to do that. That is why God allowed it to, to, to happen that way. And you are, still on, you are still putting on the garment. You are still putting on the garment. Waka repwa, we ne eight years. Waka repwa, we ne nine years. But up to now, up to now, you are still holding on to that pain. Up to now, you, you are still holding on to whatever you went through at that tender age. Jekuti, even, even when, when your husband tries to be intimate with you, you feel as if he is raping you. That's why you don't enjoy intimacy with your own husband. Because you are still holding on to the pain of the past. Please, take off that garment and begin to worship. Take off that garment and begin to love the Lord. I know, Kutijai Rwadza. But can you spend the rest of your life not enjoying what you have in your hand because of what happened in the past? You are in a marriage which is a lifetime commitment, but you are failing to enjoy that marriage which is a lifetime commitment because of something that happened uh, 16 years down the line. And you are ready to spend the rest of your life miserable. You are ready to spend the rest of your life because you were raped 16 years ago. Don't you want to enjoy intimacy with your own husband? Let it go. Let it go. Let that pain go. Take off that garment. Take it off. Yes, Wakar Wadziwa, yes, Akaku Breka, Akakur Wadzisa, and he threatened you. Could if you ever tell anybody, I'm going to kill you. And for, some of you, it's 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 only you who knows what happened. It's only you who knows could you were raped at eight years. You you didn't even tell anybody, and right now you feel like even if I tell people, they're going to say I'm lying. Yes, I know it's emotionally, it's psychologically affecting you. But do you want to spend the rest of your life in that pain? Do you want to spend the rest of your life holding on to that pain? Kupeza life yako yese waka pumbatira zimbe. Riku pisa muma woko. Iwe wine, wine, wine some, some ice cold water that is said there before you. At, at, at a very tender age, you were sexually abused and you were threatened to God's ones. If you if you tell anybody I'm going to kill you, if you tell anybody, I will tell them this and that. And I will not wawaka uza. It's only you are kuziva kutindosha kaitika. Vamwe makare pwa nene 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 wa koma na pamwe wa ifuza mombe kumba kwenyu Vamwe makare pwa even nema cousins Vamwe makare pwa even nema uncles and you couldn't tell anybody it's, it's, the, it's, it's a pain that you have been keeping within you for all this long Right now you are a married woman you are not even enjoying your marriage Muruma katanga kukubata unofila as if it's, 
Is that person back there who is trying to rape you? Is that person back there who is trying to cause you pain? But I'm here to tell you, my sister, let it go. Let it go. Wash, wash yourself and anoint yourself and get into worship. You need to let it go. You need to let it go. Jakuta kunge a demon. Your past is haunting you like a demon. Your past is possessing you like a demon. It haunts you every time. It haunts you every day. Let it go. Take off that garment. Do this. Do this. Get into the temple. Get into the temple. Begin to pour out your heart to God. Tell it all to God. How, how it happened. When it happened. What they said to you. Tell, tell it all to God. Find solace in God. And tell God. It happened. But God. I'm moving on. I'm letting it go. I'm leaving it here on your altar. I'm leaving it here on your feet. I'm moving on. Yes, it was painful, but I'm moving on. Yes, it has been haunting me, but I'm moving on. I'm letting it go. I know even if I say if you were sexually abused right here, type in comments. Some of you will not even feel comfortable to do that. You know it yourself. I know a lot of people, you come to my inbox, evangelist, I was sexually abused at a very tender age. And I just can't let go. I'm, let, I'm, I'm failing to let go. But please, I'm here. I'm here to tell you this. Let it go. Take off that garment. Take it off. Take it off. Find solace in the Lord. Find solace in the Lord. Find solace in the Lord. And maybe what is more painful is sometimes you, you can even have family gatherings and you are looking at the same person who caused you all that pain? And they are they are they are acting as if nothing ever happened. They 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 they, they have even forgotten that they caused you that pain. And right now, if you are to tell anybody, because this is what happened, they won't believe you. They will say you are just lying. But I just want you to take it to the throne. I just want you to take it to the feet of God and say, God. Yes, I was broken, God. Yes, it was painful. But today, I bring it to you. I'm leaving it here. I'm not going back home with this pain. I'm not going back home with this monster that has been haunting me for this long. I want to enjoy my marriage. I want to enjoy intimacy with my own husband. I can't, on, I can't keep on holding on to the past, to the pain of the past. The Bible says, he is nearer to the brokenhearted. I know you are brokenhearted. I know it was painful, but he is nearer. Give it to him. Give it to him. Take his yoke that is lighter and leave your, your heavy yoke upon his shoulders. Evangelist, when I was eight years Mama wangu wa indisia kum, kumusha. Uh, taisiwa ne, 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 ne ma siblings angu. Mama wache enda kutawun kunuona dedi. And I was abused. And I am failing to let go. Yes, it happened. Some, some of you are even bitter with your own parents because you thought they were neglecting you. But they didn't know. They didn't know what was happening. Go and... and Pour it out to the Lord. Get into the temple and give it all to God. Give it all to Him. Yes, you cannot have your whole future destroyed because of something that happened in your childhood. Taking all your joy, taking all your happiness. 
taking everything that you could be enjoying. Take off that garment. Take it off. You need to move on. You need to move on. You need to let it go. But I know it's it's difficult. You cannot do it on your own. David, I cannot I cannot deal with this pain on my own. I cannot deal with this loss on my own. But what do I have to do? Let me go to the temple and just begin to worship him. As I worship him, you will be taking away the pain. You will be taking away all the pain. You will be taking away all the pain and you will be wiping my tears away this is what you need to do this is what you need you cannot do with it on your own you can not let go on your own but with god with god you can god can help you to do it god can take the pain away from you only if you are willing to surrender because when you are worshiping you are surrendering yourself Worshipping, you are giving yourself as a living sacrifice to him. When you are worshipping, you are saying, God, take away everything that you know is not of you and replace it with a fresh, uh, with a refreshing anointing. So David, I can't be sister, but if, if the only person who can comfort me, the only person who can take this pain away from me, it's God. Let me go to the temple and just worship him. As I worship him, you will be taking care of everything else you will take away the pain of my loss you will take away the pain that that i experienced in my childhood you will take a, you will wipe away my tears you will wipe away the memories and he went to the temple and he began to worship nothing let me say this to you hannah nothing is supposed to take your praise Nothing is supposed to take your worship. Nothing. No situation is big enough to take your heart away from worshiping. To take your heart away from prayer. When I'm broken hearted, that is not worth for me to say I cannot worship. That is not worth for me to say I can no longer pray. No. Yes, Mana Afa, but I'm going to the temple and I'm going to worship. And Achivaku Temple. Achivaku Temple, the Bible says he went to his own house and he, he asked for some food and they gave him food and he ate. Meaning already, already. David, Anga, I wanted the healing that he so much wanted when he went to worship in the temple. Jaguti Anga Kukwani Sakujga. Even because the pain had been taken away. The pain of losses had been taken away from him. He could enjoy his meal. And even those who were around him, they began to ask him, David, how could you? You were fasting and praying for this child when, when the child was alive. But now when we tell you that the child is dead, you, you, you are eating, you are washing yourself, you are anointing yourself and you are changing your garment. Why? So David arose from the ground, washed and anointed himself and changed his clothes. And he went into the house of the Lord and worshipped. Then he went to his own house. And when he requested, they set food before him and he ate. Then his servant said to him, what is this that you have done? You fasted and wept for the child while he was alive. But when the child died, you arose and ate food. And he said, while the child was alive, I fasted and wept for I said who can tell whether the Lord will be gracious to me that the child may live but now he is dead why should I fast can I bring him back again so let it go take off that garment take off that garment I want some of you I know you have got your own prayer altar in your house right now 
I just want you to go to your prayer altar. I just want you to go to your prayer closet. I just want you to go to your to your to your to your pray praying place, your place of prayer, the place where you 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 dine with the Lord. I just want you to go there. Whatever pain you have experienced in the past that is still haunting you, I just want you to give it all to him. I just want you to surrender yourself to him. Surrender that pain to him. Take it all to him. Leave it at his feet. Uti mwari, nda wea nemitoro yese yanga ichinti remera, nda wea uzo isi apano. I don't want to remain the same. I don't want to be the same woman again. I don't want to be the same girl again. Maybe wakarambwa ne mkomana and you been holding on to to that pain you are so broken hearted i just want you to take it to the altar and say god it happened and it's over i want to move on i'm living this year i'm living all this year i want to move on i'm going to wash myself and anoint myself and i'm going to worship you this is what i want you to do this is what i want i want you to do i just want you to go and and nail that pain to the cross. I just want you to, to, to nail that. Everything, everything that is causing you pain. You when Whenever you think of it, you feel like crying. You feel like, I don't know. I just want you to go and nail it all to the cross on your prayer altar in your closet. Just nail it to the cross. Say pain, it is finished. It, the, the cross said it is finished. So I just want you to nail it to the cross and say it is finished. From today, I don't want to think about it. I don't want to live in my past. I'm done with it. I'm moving on. I just want you to do that. I just want you to do that this afternoon. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much for joining me for this live stream. That is the word of encouragement that I had for you. Let's meet again tonight for Midnight Cry. Let's meet for midnight cry today it's all about prayers we'll be praying we'll be praying tonight thank you very much i love you all but god loves you more if you feel like you have got anything to say about this live stream i just type it in comments before we close because we are about to close just type it in comments before we close if you feel like you have got anything that you want to say about this live stream just say it just type it in comments before we, we 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 close we are about to close i'm just praying i'm just praying that everybody who, who is heartbroken everybody who is broken we was watching this live stream i pray that god begins to heal you from within i pray that god enables you to let it go i pray that god will give you the strength to take off that garment and put on new garments to put on new garments of praise to put on new garments of worship to put on new garments um th th that are not garments of sorrow that are not garments of weeping May the Lord give you the strength and may the Lord comfort you and may the Lord heal you of all the emotional wounds that you have. May the Lord heal you of all the pain that you experienced even in your past. May the Lord heal you. May the Lord heal you. Maringa wa kupore sei mkatikat me moyo yenyu. Mkatikat me moyo yenyu. Maringa wa kupore sei. Maringa wa pore sei even mwea yenyu. Because I know some of you, 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 you were a little bit backsliding some of you your faith was shaken because you started to ask does god really exist why is all this happening to me if he really exists you were beginning to doubt the love of god you, your faith was shaken but i just want to tell you this god loves you god loves you god loves you god loves you um if you didn't I tell you, to my reader, Joseph, because Joseph, I can't talk to my mom, I can't eat a servant, I can't but God was with him through it all. So God is still with you. God is with you through it all. Maybe some of you have been through it so that you can comfort others who are also in the same situation as you are in. So take it, count it all joy. Count it all joy when you meet various tribulations and trials. Count it all joy. Count it all joy. Count it all joy. God still loves you. God still has your back. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I love you all. You have a wonderful day. Let's meet again for Midnight Cry tonight. God bless you.